What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get an easy 75,000 runes at any point in the game. You can literally do this right at the beginning of the game, so it's definitely worth it. When I was trying to figure out how to unlock dragon spells, I found out you needed to buy them using dragon hearts. I couldn't figure out how to get them until I was exploring around the map and I saw this giant dragon laying out in the middle of this field. You can find it right here on your map, and when you kill it, it drops about 75,000 runes and gives you 5 dragon hearts, which can be used to purchase dragon spells or duplicate arts of war. So once you're at this gray site, just turn around and you'll see the dragon right there. If you try to fight it normally and hit it near its face, it'll roar causing the dragons around it to attack you. These dragons are extremely strong, so you definitely don't want to fight them, especially if you're early in the game. So anyways, I found out you can actually just come back here around its tail, and the other dragons won't be able to get to you. You gotta make sure you come up on this part right here, because around most areas of the tail, there's an invisible barrier that won't let you hit it. This dragon has a ridiculous amount of health, so I'd recommend using a weapon with bleed on it so it'll kill it much faster. For my starting class, I chose the Samurai, which starts with the Uchigatana, which already has the bleed effect on it. So I'm just going to speed this up because it takes a really long time, especially if you don't have the bleed effect on. This is definitely worth it for anyone to do considering you can do it at any point in the game and get 75,000 runes easily, as well as 5 dragon hearts which you can use to buy dragon spells. So right here after the dragon dies you can see I received about 75,000 runes and the 5 dragon hearts as well. So real quick I'll also show you where you need to go if you want to buy these spells. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel for more Elden Ring guides and other content.